What's up guys, it's Oki Basson here for another vlog and today we're going to be doing something uh, pretty fun I think in the back of the truck we're going to be skinning a small Timbler Rattler real quick, he's not very big, he's a quite small actually probably about two to three foot long little guy Oh, what in the world? Did... His rattler fell off. Well, that was supposed to stay on. Oh, well. Uh. Here, check it out. There he is. He's just a little one. Not very big, but it's still going to be fun. But, uh, I'm going to go get a knife and stuff, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Later. Okay, so I got the snake, I got my knife, and we're going to get to skinning this guy real quick. The first thing you always want to do is take off the head because you don't want your hands up by that head. So I just put my foot over his head and then just quickly removed it with a knife. And now I'm going to slit all the way down the whole belly. And then you just grab a hold of it and you just pull it off of your hands. Uh, I will get you guys, a little, you guys are probably going to see a little bit of this. But uh, let's get this going. Okay, so I've slit down its whole entire stomach. I had to cut off a few inches there. It's only like four inches. But I had to cut off a little bit because the first time it was shot, it was shot a little bit too far back. So it was just tearing apart and stuff. But I did slice all down the rest of it. Now I have to just grab it and I have to pull that skin off the meat, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge because rattlesnake skin is like really fragile, so it's going to be a little tough, but I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I got it going good here real quick. I didn't take very long, so I'm going to show you guys just this. Once you get it going, it takes a little bit to get it started. Once you get it started, it just peels right off. I'm going to hold my foot on here, and then I'm just going to pull it all the way off. I know I did lose a little bit of it, but not too much. As you see, we have the skin here. We're going to get that soaking in something. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, so I have it sitting up there, as you can see it, right about there. Sitting right there. Uh, it's sitting up there so the cats don't get it, but I'm going to let it sit there and soak in the water for a, for a little while, for about an hour or two. I'm going to go eat and then I will be stretching it onto the board and salting it. Uh, a lot of people soak them in like this freaking weird stuff. It actually works better just to do it in water and then that's it because then if you ever felt like taking it off the board, you'd be able to. Unlike this one here where we can't take it off the board or else it does that and just starts ripping apart that middle part is all stuck on it. Uh, that was a decent rattlesnake that I got myself. And, uh, well, we actually got this one inside of our house. It came through the front door when my dad stepped out. Uh, it was that night, and I was back in my room. Someone screamed. It came out there. Boom. Got it right there in the house. Shot it while it was in the house. There is a small bullet hole right up on the edge of the floor. I mean, you, won't, you would never see it unless you actually got down and looked for it. It's fairly noticeable. But even when you do get down and look for it, it's not that noticeable. But I'm going to go in and eat. I will see you guys in, um, well, I mean, I guess just like literally a half a second from now. But actually about two hours from now. See you guys then. Okay, guys. We're about to give my hog this snake real quick. And don't call me a pussy. For wearing a glove with this, the only reason I'm wearing a glove is because I did just wash my hands because I am about to go eat. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I do not want to eat with rattlesnake blood and guts all over me. I, mean, I would if I had to, but I don't have to. So I'm not going to. But we're going to give this to him real quick. Hopefully he likes it. We'll see real quick. 
There's no head and everything. I'm not giving him the head. So don't worry about that. He'll eventually want it. He got too much crap in his food right now. Plus he just ate a lot of freaking slop. But, uh... We're going to... Take this head... And dispose of it to where nothing can get to it. I'm not doing it because, I mean, it could get to the glove. And I'm not risking anything. Because even though he's dead, I... If I was to have that thing puncture, puncture, puncture me, it is still going to do the same as it would if I, as, as if he was to bite me alive. But, got him in a trailer. Animals aren't going to be able to get to him. We're good. Golden. Axel, you'll get out in a little bit. Not right at this moment, though, bub. All right. All right, guys. Uh, we're down here in the woods real quick. In the middle of getting uh, there, in the middle of getting dinner made, and I'm gonna come down here and check these traps real quick. Uh, let's go. We're gonna see if we got anything in here. Ugh. Uh, I'll catch you guys when I get back there to the trap. Okay, uh, see y'all in a bit. Okay, guys, the trap is shut. Uh, I haven't gone far enough over there to see if there's anything in it yet, but it is shut. Hopefully there's something in it and not just like a coon or something reached in there and sh got it shut. I'm hoping there's something in there and hopefully it's all. I'm also hoping it's not a freaking cat. Because one of the cats that sticks around the house, I have not seen him yet today. So it very well could be a cat. But we are going to go see what it is. Good news, guys. We did not get a cat. And it also was not a coon that just shut it. We got us a possum. Look at him. And he's not a very happy feller either. I wouldn't be happy either if I was stuck in a cage and about to get shot in the face. But yes, this spot produced, it didn't produce, produce the exact species that I wanted, but it did get us a varmint. And yes, he will be put down. Uh, you can log off of this video now if you don't want to see an animal put down. But if you don't mind it, stay tuned. He's going to have to sit here for just a little bit. I'm going to go eat because by the time I get back... I should be ready and then I get here and he will be getting shot <laughs> okay uh, but yeah I'm about to go eat real quick and then I'll come back and we'll deal with him but we we got us something that's a little possum focus come on there you go got him all right sweet can't believe we got us something. Well, I mean, I can't believe it. This is good. Spot. This is the first time I've trapped at this spot of the woods. Usually, I only trap farther up in the woods that away. But this is the first time I've trapped this spot. I just decided to trap this spot this time. Because, whoa. He's really mad. I just decided to trap this spot this time because I've been seeing a bunch of coon droppings all over this trunk and stuff so I decided to hey why not stuff a trap over here throw the good old spade of sardines oh man he's mad he's like making a, like a growling noise can you hear that he is not happy are you I won't have to feel that way for too much longer, dude. I had a pet coon once. Yes, my dad has the license for that stuff. So just saying. But uh, I did have a pet coon for a little while. Um, we had a nice area for him and stuff. And then... One time we had trapped a possum and we put it in there and the coon killed him. The coon killed the possum. Yeah. 
he was mean. Stupid flies. Alright, we'll get to him in a little while. We're gonna go back. Okay guys, so how exciting is that? We actually caught something uh, in the trap for the video. And yes, there will be more trapping. Every video, we will probably be checking the traps. That'll just be an every single video thing because I love trapping. Uh, it's something you can I can do all the time here uh, in Oklahoma. I can set my live traps. Uh, at least farmers are allowed to do that. I don't know how it is for just you people who are going out and trapping. But for us, I can go out there and try. I can't set like snares and stuff like that all the time. There's an actual season for that. But uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, there will be a lot of good videos to come. This is, was a very, in my opinion, a good video. I mean, come on, we got a rattlesnake, skin the rattlesnake. I taught you all how to skin the rattlesnake. And we caught us a possum in the trap. Uh, but like I said, I gotta go eat real quick. I gotta hurry. And then we'll come back and we'll shoot that possum. Uh, Okay, so uh, we're here at this boat. We're about to cross the gate again, and I got a good old 22 rifle, and we're gonna go down there, and we're going to shoot this possum real quick, and then take him out. And, I don't know. He's not big enough for me to want to skin for y'all, and uh, but I need to get my tripod back because right now I've been doing everything, and I. Right after this, uh, right here where I, I'm about to shoot this possum, uh, right after that, I'll probably throw something in this video. I'm going to throw in a picture of what I'm about to get. It's going to be, yeah, you'll, you'll see. You'll see in just a second. You'll see in just a bit. Okay, guys. So, uh, there's a the possum right there. I'm going to cock this back, and then I'm going to do him right in the head. Uh, okay, so I just cocked the gun real quick, and we're going to go one more time at him. Just, I mean, because you do, I mean, you got to make sure, got to make sure they're dead. Hold on, let me get a better spot to put the gun. You guys ready? And he is done. He is no longer alive, my friends. We're going to lean the gun right up against that tree real quick. That is the gun I'm using right now. It's a very, very old 22 long rifle. We got to get this possum out of here. And then get it rebated. So, yeah. Okay, so the way I do this is uh, I get, oh, I just get sardines and I get the ones that are just in spring water. I don't like using the ones in oil, but I get these and then I just crack it open and then I drain a lot of the juice out. I drain it just in the surrounding area. They get that smell that attracts them to the trap. Just put it everywhere, get that. But you want to leave some in there. I mean, straws them inside to the trap. And then I'll just take the top off the rest of the way, put it in the trap. I'm going to get this possum out real quick. And then get this one completely set. And then we're going to go and we're going to grab that other one and we're going to bring it back. We're going to move it back to this other area to where the, cat, to where the town cats aren't getting in it. Because what I've noticed is they really just kind of stick up there at the front of this place and when they stick up at the front there's a little bitty like open area here there's a house over there but uh they kind of stick up at the front they don't really come far back so uh this is what we're dealing with sardines i mean i'm sure you guys know what they look like they're disgusting so yeah okay guys so uh that is what i'm going to be getting soon uh that chest mount for my cell phone it'll be pretty much the same as having a gopro 
except it won't be waterproof. Well, I guess technically it will be waterproof because my phone's waterproof. And, uh, but I'm getting that. I'm going to end the video here. I think this vlog was awesome. The best vlog we've had so far. It's full of the most action. We got a possum, skin to rattlesnake and stuff. Uh, hopefully when we come out tomorrow we can catch something else in, in the traps. We're going to both sit back here. One's over there and one's up there. But, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, please. I mean, let me know something. I mean, uh, tell me what you guys want to see, what you want me to do. Uh, tell me some way I can make, like, my editing better or my filming better. But, uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.